Olo. These generic brand cornflakes were probably the cheapest deal in Norway. Yeah. And this bread. This bread is eight Norwegian crones, which is $1. Wow, so that's, that's, really, that's pretty cheap. That's really, really cheap. That's decent bread. I don't know why the cost of bread varies so much because there's other breads that are five bucks and it doesn't look much different than this. Rip-offs. Big rip-offs. So make sure to find the cheapest ones. Doesn't matter what they look like. Okay, <laughs> it matters what they look like. It, it's cheap. You have to buy it if you need it. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh my god. Marlene just pulled out her first white hair. No. We're so old. Daddy, daddy has more white hair. Have Daddy we'll come, was born with white we'll hair. We'll come to the club. <laughs> we'll go to the club, mommy. So we actually are at this little village. Nice little creek running behind us. Church here being uh, restored. Hi, Luca. Uh, can I show you something? Sure. It's just around the corner. It's not very stable, but it's stable. Oh yeah, this bridge looks a little rickety. Cool, little ducks. And, and when it falls down, it looks like pee. <laughs> what did he do? He jumped up and down this bridge. He's like, guys. Okay, I'm getting off this bridge. I can't save you if you fall in. Well, okay, maybe I can. All right, so we didn't stay at the place where we ended up last night because after we thought about it, after we read some reviews, people say, tour buses show up 8 o'clock in the morning and drop tourists off to take pictures of the glacier. I understand because it's a pretty sweet spot to get a picture of that big glacier, which is why we wanted to be there in the first place. But that narrow road going in and out, I just didn't want to deal with. Well, mostly Marlene didn't want to deal with. That's why I got a white hair. Having to back up, <laughs> back up with the big tour bus coming towards us. Yeah, that might have given her her first white hair. So we ended up here in this little village, just about 20 minutes away. You can see the glacier up there still. This whole mountain range back there is the national park. And we're just kind of driving along the coast of this fjord. We're glad we're here though because it's very quiet. Pretty far away from the main road, so there's not even very many cars that drove by. Being that we uh, didn't sleep very long the night before, last night was very good. We had a really good night's sleep. So today, we're gonna try to drive around and go up Route 55. It's supposed to take us through the highest mountain pass of Norway. It's a few hours drive away, so we're not sure if we're exactly gonna make it in one day, because we're kind of getting a late start. That is the goal. You never know. Sometimes detours can be very pleasant. This cute little church. 200 year old church. The these tombs are 200 years old. This church could be even older. They have these really cool metal tombstones, huh? And they don't really wear out like the stone ones. But it's a pretty nice place to be your final resting spot. That's where we stayed last night. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, but quiet and comfortable.
committed ourselves to a pretty long drive today, but when I pulled out of the six kilometer long tunnel, I looked to the left and this is what I saw. We had to stop, even though we got a lot more driving to do. We pulled down this little road with some buildings down there, which looks like an abandoned ghost town. Then there are all these cows just hanging out. I couldn't help but to stop. Marlene took some photos. I flew the drone. Here's a little drone video for you. So Ava and Marlene went and peeked through the windows of these buildings and said that it looks as though people just left and never came back and said that maybe I should go look at it and shoot a little video. So I'm going to do that for you guys. Go check it out while we walk by quietly and say hi to these cows. Hey guys. Look how alive this roof is. All right, let's look in this one. Yeah. Like an oil lamp. Wow. That one looks like people were here recently. Uh, I'm guessing the door's locked. There's some of these with broken windows. We'll be able to see without the glass in the way. Mattresses, newspaper. There's like a three quarter full bottle of Coke. They use these little flagstones sometimes for the roof. Surely they had a construction project planned. Oh yeah, look at that one. These have their windows covered, so maybe these are still used for a summer house, but surely nobody's here now. And all of this is the glacial torrent melting for that giant glacier right there it's pretty interesting i'm not sure if this is a ghost town or if it's just far enough into the summer season that no one is here anymore presumably at one point this was a village that a bunch of people lived in maybe even did some farming and ranching in this valley taking a quick break at this town we're about 50 miles away from where we need to be still so 
we got probably at least another hour of driving to do maybe more because the last 35 miles there's gonna be quite a bit of climbing since we are pretty close to sea level where we are we're maybe like a hundred feet up above sea level and where we're going is the highest peak in Norway which I think is like 8,000 feet so we'll start climbing I think in about 17 miles and I imagine most of that road after that is going to be just climbing probably fairly slow going so we're getting a little break in there's a nice adventure course playground here I want to show you something. is it it's pretty dangerous oh boy and what do you do when you get over there this. what do you do when you get to that pole watch okay oh boy oh boy okay I don't know if you should do that it's fun I want to be a brave papa Dad, look at it right there with the monkey bars, where did I put my foot? I yeah, put my... you just fall. Yeah. Just fall to the ground. These Norwegian kids are good at climbing. So we're also using the, we're taking a little restroom break too. But when they come back, we gotta get going because I think it's gonna get dark. By the time we get there, it will be properly dark, I think. So let's hope the road is not too crazy. You're not cold? Yeah. Hey, I'm just gonna sit for a second. Okay. <laughs> You're cold. 1100 meters in elevation. We're at this viewpoint and oh this is cool. So you know where to look. So if you line it up, if you line it up and you line the line the strings up together, then you know which mountain it is and how tall it is. Dear Hogustinden. <laughs> That's right. Nailed it. So it's telling you the names of all these peaks and how tall they are. And then with that glacier in the middle. So we came down the road from down there. And that's a different road that goes up to another spot. I don't know where that goes. Because usually they have like a picture yeah. of the mountains. And then like, you know, lines that point to the thing and then tells you what it is. But usually those pictures get faded. This is really smart. But you make your own picture. That way's north. Well, either See, that way's north or this way's north if you line it up right. So you have to line up the two lines. Oh, that one's really far away. There's like, there's just like a tiny little bump. Tiny little bump behind this mountain. You see a tiny little bump. Oh, yeah. That's what's pointing at. You can't even see it. It's just a little bump. Yeah. Oh, this fly's been traveling with us. Yep. Look at it. What's he gonna do? Two oh, flies, two flies. Oh my gosh, at least he has a friend. I don't even know what to say. I mean, it looks actually smaller now that we're closer than when we were far away seeing it for the first time.
Okay, this is the first. Uh, we have to pay to get past this thing. So let's pay. All right, we gotta keep the ticket. Thank you, Money Gate. We have to cross the river to get here? 